Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will discuss divisions of genetics. As you can see, I have already divided genetics into three main divisions. Division number one, transmission genetics. Division number two, molecular genetics. Division number three, population genetics. It is very clear from the name of these divisions that we are going to discuss transmission of genes and genetic composition of uh, that particular individual and then uh, genetic com composition of the population of uh, the particular species right so basically these are the important divisions in the genetics and we are going to discuss these divisions in our uh, presentation today so i i hope that you are going to pay attention to this particular video lecture and it is going to help you to understand the division of the genetics all right so without any delay let's start the lecture before we start the lecture i have a quick request to make if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please do subscribe to the channel because it helps me and it motivates uh, me to provide cost free education to everyone and make uh, you know these interesting slides illustration to make you understand these uh, important topics in the area of biosciences so let's jump on to the presentation part Alright, as we already discussed that there are three main divisions of genetics. Division number one, transmission genetics, where we discuss how the genetic information is transmitted from generation to generation. Then you have molecular genetics, where we discuss structure and composition of the gene. And then you have population genetics, where we discuss the genetic composition of the population. Right? Let's discuss these points one by one. So this is my first slide where I'm trying to discuss some of the points that are important in case of the transmission genetics. Point number one is how traits they are passed from one generation to another. And second important point in this case is the genetic makeup of individual organism. In this case, we are more focused on the individual organism. As you can see, I have made this, uh, uh, this nice pedigree analysis chart where I'm trying to show you that one particular specific trait how it is getting transmitted to next generation and the third important point in this case is the gene how that particular gene is transferred and how that particular gene is functioning in the next generation that is uh, the part of the transmission genetics now if we move on to the second division that is molecular genetics in molecular genetics basically we are focused on the molecule we are focused on the part of the genetic that is called genes right we are going to understand what is the chemistry of the gene we will also understand structure chemical nature arrangement and the effect of the gene it is really important now we are focused at the gene level and as you can see in this uh, illustration, I'm trying to show you there are different different genes and there is one specific gene which is getting expressed and it is synthesizing that particular protein. And this particular protein might be important for a particular function. Right. And the last important point in this case is how the information is encoded, how the information here in this gene was encoded out and and how that information is replicated and expressed in the next generation. So this is very important point in case of the molecular genetics. All right, now we are going to discuss population genetics. In population genetics, the major point is that the number of the individuals that are present in that particular species, how they are behaving and how their genetic composition is behaving is important for the population genetics. As you can see, I have uh, mentioned here that how genetic composition of the population changes over time. And uh, since we are discussing the population, that means we are discussing how that entire population changes over time, which is basically the study of evolution. So it is really important to understand that study of the evolution is the part of population genetics. And the final point, which is gene cluster of the population, how the gene cluster of that specific population is behaving uh, over time. So that is very important part of the population genetics. So I hope that now you have a 
basic idea that what is transmission genetics, what is molecular genetics, what is population genetics. And I, I have tried to explain in terms of uh, some of the examples and some of the illustration I have used in this uh, particular slide. So I hope that particular topic is now clear, uh, clear to you. One thing is important to understand that genetics has many divisions. As you can see, there is chromosomal genetics, evolutionary genetics, biochemical genetics, quantitative genetics. You can see they are uh, different than the divisions that we discussed. Those were the basic division of the genetics. Here you can see they are more focused on chromosomes. Uh, if we are more focused on understanding the genetics of the evolution, then you can say evolutionary genetics, then quantitative genetics if we are more interested in the numbers. So that was my last slide and i hope that now you have a basic idea of all these uh, important terms that is transmission molecular and population genetics so i will conclude my presentation here and if you have any questions then please post your question in the comments comment section if you like the video then please share the video with your friends i'll see you in the next video where we will discuss same kind of interesting topic and we'll try to understand these important topics of the biosciences in a very simplified and interesting way all right till then thank you and take care